Hey gang, Max Scoville here for Rev3 Games. It is the very end of day one of E3 2013. I'm here in the lobby, but earlier I was behind closed doors getting my dirty little hands all over Saints Row 4. And uh, what can I say? It, it feels like the worthy successor of Saints Row the Third. Uh, in the game, you are now the president of the United Saints of America, and aliens have abducted everybody, and you are in a virtual reality construct version of Steelport where you have superpowers for whatever reason. If you haven't been keeping track, uh, they're really just trying to up the ante on the stupid here, and I think they've kind of pulled it off. The writing is very dumb in all the right ways. I would go so far as to call this Saints Row 3 Blood Dragon. Uh, you get superpowers. You can do super speed running, which feels really great. There's a kind of a free running aspect to it where I think you're going as fast as the in-game engine will let you travel, and your cars go flying out of the way, and you can go up the sides of buildings, and if you hold down the A button, you can charge up a super jump, and then holding down the, uh, the run button in, in midair lets you glide, and you look really stupid holding out all your arms like a flying squirrel. In addition to that, you also have telekinesis, which, well, it's like the gravity gun. You can pick up things and shoot them at other things. What's really funny is you can pick up pedestrians and then run super speed, and anything you run into while holding them, they will cause it to explode or fly out of the way. It's a very slapstick game. For those people who are concerned that this is really just kind of more Saints Row the Third, you're not wrong, but really, there's nothing wrong with that. It seems like... This is going to be a lot of fun, and a lot of people who, who like the previous game are probably going to have a blast with it. The superpowers do add a ton of playability, just in terms of just running around and doing dumb stuff. And really, I mean, I spent most of my demo just knocking over cars and picking up cars and throwing them at other stuff. You also get fire powers, so you can set yourself on fire and run as fast as you can and set everything on fire in your way. Uh, there's also added weapon customization. That's a new thing. Uh, they've shown off a little bit of this. We saw, you know, you can make a machine gun look like a super soaker. You can make a submachine gun look like uh, an alien's pulse rifle. Other stuff they have would be the Jawa ion cannon from Star Wars, um, Deckard's gun from Blade Runner, a rubber band gun. It's really dumb. But if you want to make goofy characters in Saints Row and have superpowers and run around causing mayhem, I think you will enjoy this game. I think obviously with new consoles coming out and uh, you know certain other big open world sandbox games being released, Saints Row 4 might go under the radar, but it also seems like the kind of thing that if you're into Saints Row the Third, you'll probably have a blast with it. I mean, you get to be the president and you get to have superpowers and you get to do wrestling moves. Anyway, Saints Row 4 is hitting PC, PS3, and 360 the week of August 20th. And if you're interested, you know, go check it out. It seems like a lot of fun. Stay tuned for the rest of our coverage right here on Rev3 Games. I'm Max Scoville. I'm very sweaty. I'm going to go sit down.